It's my favorite time of the month. Time to give a special shout out to the absolute badasses at the Fabled Survivor Elite tier. You could join the Fabled Survivor Elite tier on YouTube or Patreon. Links are in the description. It's because of supporters like you that is helping me take the summer off from my other job. So for reals, thank you. Autumn, Sylvie, and I love you all very much. You people rock. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Raft. So I have gotten away from Temperance. We've got some things to talk about here. But before I do anything, we are going to come on up here and look around. So we've got some islands here. We've got a little island there, and we've got a big island over here. And I think that's a trader right there, so that's a, that's a great place for the trader. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep so we can bring up the daytime so you guys can see. And we're going to go collect some resources. I also did put down the... Um, advanced anchor because i needed it to get around well, i didn't need it to get around but it does make getting around a lot easier so now i can i can put down the anchor from the bridge so all the way up here you hit this little switch right here and it brings down the anchor or picks it up which is awesome all right so do i have everything i'm gonna need no i don't i need my diving gear all right let's grab my diving gear and then we're gonna go over there we're gonna get some resources from the small island and the big island we'll take uh two sets all right, and we'll put that stuff down there. Do we really need two sets? Honestly, we really don't need two sets. And it's just taking up inventory space. I'm also going to bring my metal detector and shovel. And I, I think you know what that's for. Um, we do have food. We do have drink. We've got healing stuff. Not that I'm really going to... You know what? I'm going to leave the healing... Nah, I'm going to hold on to the healing stuff to hell. It only takes up one spot and it makes me feel better. So let's come on, dive in here and avoid old toothy migrants. I don't see Toothy grins. Oh, there he is. There you are, you bugger. You little bugger. He's really fun to fight. I can kill him with no problem. It just it takes time, and I just don't want to spend the time, and I really don't have to. Uh, it's funny, though, in multiplayer, though, if you're not hosting the game, you get, like, lag. And it's not, like, it's not, like, bad lag, but it messes up your timer, you know, when stabbing old Toothy grins. So it does become an issue for people on the multiplayer server, which kind of sucks, but... Eh, I host it, so it don't suck for me. <laughs> but yeah, so I got stuck on Temperance, guys. Um, when I was trying to leave it, the wind was constantly blowing directly into the island, and I was having trouble getting around the island. Man, that 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 Temperance island is freaking huge, man. So um, I eventually got around it though, and that was awesome, and I got the hell out of there. So uh, yeah, but man, it was um, it wasn't easy. It really wasn't. All right, so let's come around here, and we definitely would like to get some treasure. So let's see if we can find the treasure. Oh, it's around here somewhere. You think it's down there or up here? Let's go up here first. Oh, come on. Nope, all right, it's definitely down there. That's okay. I will uh, just come up here, just to make sure there's nothing up here. And then when I'm... Oh, look at that ship. That ship is... That ship is dope! I don't know if you guys heard the knock on my door there. Um, at the end of the last cut, I'm probably, probably going to leave it in there because I want to talk about my lawn, guys. Uh, I have, like, these kids that come over and mow my lawn uh, every couple weeks, and they are the best lawn guys ever. And they're kind of, like, it's kind of crazy, too, because, like, they're, like, they're young. They've got to be, like, in their early 20s, like, late teens, early 20s. Like, they look really, really young. And I, I got to give them credit, man. Like, they got a truck. They got a business. Like, they're, they're, making, they're making money, and they're going out there and doing work and Got, got their own business at like you know in their early 20s and like it's kind of amazing because when i was in my early 20s i was just partying and like my boss would be lucky if i didn't call out drunk uh you know so it's just, it's really um good for them man good for them and they came over and it's like they usually do my lawn every two weeks right and they come over and they're like it's been two weeks but your lawn doesn't need to be mowed uh, I'm, we're not i mean we'll mow it if you want but it really doesn't need to be done we don't want to like you know rip you off and i was like oh so I was like, well, it's been two weeks. It's kind of weird, right? And they're like, well, apparently uh, we're in a drought uh, where I live in New Jersey. So uh, we're in a drought. And I looked at my lawn and it's not even green. It's just like, you know, it's not. it doesn't look like the desert, but it doesn't look like a normal lawn. And I was like, yeah, you know what? It hasn't been raining lately. So I was like, well, you're going to come back in two weeks, right? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, well, if you come back in two weeks, will it be overgrown? Because like a lot of times, like when people mow lawns, if they wait too long and it gets too thick, it could really, like, you know, cause a lot of wear and tear on the lawnmowers. And I'm like, whatever. If you want to do it now, if it's going to be too much, and like, nah, it's not going to be too much. Don't worry about it. And I was like, okay, well, thank you. And I was like, man, the freaking the best lawn guys ever. I mean, and, and like, again, when I was their age, man, I was just partying and 
acting a fool and you know good for them man that's it's it's amazing to see that in young young people these days and um i know i sound really old that's because i am uh but hey man credit where credit's due these these kids are legit all right let's go ahead and get this uh where is it all right over here there it is let's go ahead and get this treasure and then i think i'm gonna do one more actually i'm not gonna i'm not, i think i've gotten pretty much everything from this island i'm gonna get back on my raft and then i will drop everything off and did i drop anything no all right cool well i didn't get any i didn't get anything good either eh, it kind of sucked that was a pretty crappy treasure but that's okay um i'm walking up this island with uh 30 scrap metal which is you know not too bad not too bad at all all right i think i'm ready to hit the other island i went ahead and used all my special bait to get all these guys i've got almost 40 trash cubes 14 trade coins um, I think I'm going to be able to buy just about everything from this trader. When I get back, I am going to uh, start paying attention to these animals because you guys were right. Uh, wool is definitely the way to go <laughs> when it comes to the recycler. So I got to keep these guys fed and really start farming the wool. Uh, you know, so that's going to be something I'm going to look at when I come back. Let's go check out this island. I should be right next to it. Yep. All right. Let's go up because I don't want to go in the water if I don't have to because it's, uh, it's a little chilly. A little chilly. I also want to make better batteries. Um, I want to maybe start start only using advanced batteries. But I've got a lot of stuff that needs to be powered. So, um, and there's really not much to do with the regular batteries. So, I don't, oh, I didn't even get that close. I thought I was like right there. All right, wait, can I not get up there? Oh, interesting. All right, that is really interesting. So I just got to move forward a little bit. I thought I I hit it. But, yeah, you want to really be right there because, I don't know, maybe I didn't get the jump right. But, I don't know, maybe you can't actually get up there. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I switched the walkway right here. You, someone mentioned in the comment section, turn this walkway around so you could just go straight up. And as I was walking up there, even before that person made the comment, I was thinking that. And I was like, yeah, that's that's let's get that done. <laughs> let's get that done sooner rather than later. All right. So, we're just going to kind of drive right into this thing until we hit it. All right, and there we go. Lower that. There we go. Beautiful. The only thing I hate about, like, the stuff you get in this game is you get it so late. You know, like, I wish I had this stuff so much earlier. <laughs> you know, we're almost at the end of the game now. It's like, yeah, what are you going to do? Hey, is that stuff over there? Did I clear up my inventory? I did. Look at this. We've got a chest over here. We also have a polar bear. So we're probably going to want to kill that polar bear. Uh, but this, you know what? I don't need this thing breaking in the middle of a fight. I'm just going to throw it away. So I've never fought a polar bear on ice before. So that's got me a little bit nervous, but I don't know. I guess sliding really doesn't affect the fight very much. I find these guys so much easier than the regular bears. Like... It's actually kind of surprising how much easier they are than the regular bears. I thought, you know, they'd be tougher. Because I think of polar bears. Aren't polar bears like the apex, like, bear? Or is it grizzly bears? I'm not really sure. I think polar bears are actually the most badass bears on the planet. I'd have to ask Dwight Schrute, I guess. But uh, what kind of bear is best? But that's okay. They seem easier. and I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. So let's come on up here to the trader. Let's look around. Oh, look at this. There's stuff sitting all over the place. All right, I like that. Look at that. Oh, what I get there? Oh, by the way, um, I have this like thing where I'm not allowed to use recipes, uh, in the game. I'm not allowed to make food unless I find the recipe. I think I'm gonna scratch that because I'm really not finding some key recipes. It's get, kind of getting annoying. Um, so I'm not. not I'm, I'm not 100 on it yet, but I'm kind of thinking about just getting rid of it. All right, let's go ahead and sell and sell. Sell the pike, pink pike, rainbow lobster, and shark eater. Shark eater is a badass name, by the way. I'm not going to lie. All right, so we have a lot of that stuff, which is great. All right, so what are we going to buy first? Scrap, titanium, uh, and then what? Should I get the advanced scarecrow? I, I really don't need it. And it's really expensive, so I'm not going to get it. Not right now. I might get it at some point, but uh, not right now. I don't need any of this stuff, really. Um, I could use some red berries, some algae, some juniper. 
Okay, I've got all the recipes already. Might as well buy some planks. Definitely don't need plastic. I already got all the scrap. Um, I think I need this stuff too. I'll just buy all this stuff. The hell with it. So that's gonna be it, right? So that's all I can afford. Do I need more coins? You know what? I need. I kind of need more coins. So I think I'm gonna spend the rest of my monies on the fish bait. All right, cool. And here we are back on the ship. Now, I did not pull away from the island because I do want to explore more of the island, but I also want to do some work on the ship, okay? Let me show you what I got going on here. So I moved the water collector over to here, the water purifier over to here, and I connected it with a pipe right here because you guys were right, as usual, uh, wool is a really good thing to put in the recycler, a really good thing. So I'm going to keep an eye out for more llamas, I'm probably going to expand the farm. This farm, I think, will be moved up to the roof at some point. Um, I don't know about that. See, the problem with this with this ship is I don't have a good way to run pipes throughout the entire thing. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna move the farm up to the roof, I'm gonna want this automatic sprinkler set up up there, and I'm gonna want pipes running the water up there. The problem is if I run pipes up there, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to um to cover the pipes. So ultimate idea of this let's play is to move this farm to the roof but that's going to be very difficult and in the future so i will uh we'll see if we get there we might not not really sure but for now i do want to keep these guys um with their water going because i do want to continue to get wool um it is really good and i will try and catch some more llamas when i when i can okay i also made the electric smelter so let's go ahead and put that down now you know what i'm gonna move this and then we'll put the smelter right here. Okay. So there's the electric smelter. Now we are going to need a battery for that. And I'd like to have a good battery. The problem is I don't have... A, like, all my good batteries are spoken for. Um, I don't have anything over here. Where are my good batteries? So I think I have a good battery in this and this. Because I definitely want these guys to stay hydrated. Uh, you know what? I'll look around for my good batteries later. I'm not going to, like waste your guys time with that but um yeah i do uh i want to make more good batteries the thing is i only have so much titanium and honestly i can't i'm i'm kind of thinking about using it on nets i didn't love the idea of the uh, nets but these nets hold 10 and the upgraded nets hold 50 you know it's a really expensive thing to do i don't know uh but i kind of would rather do i don't know but i also need batteries uh, we'll see i'll probably change my mind 50 times between now and like the time i choose to do that anyway so all right, so let's go ahead and cook some titanium. All right, so it only cooks three at a time. So we're going from cooking five at a time to three at a time, but we're not using wood. I wonder if it's quicker. Stupid allergies making me cough in the middle of a recording. Don't appreciate that. Um, yeah, I don't think it's quicker. So yeah, this is... Um, you don't use wood, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it better or not. It's all right. It's fine. So, um, all right, what's next on the agenda? So I went ahead and made the smelter. I, oh, biofuel refiner. Okay, mixes raw. Okay, so wh what is the benefit of this one? I'm really curious on what the benefit of the advanced biofuel refinery would be. So, um, do I want to put this here or I don't know how big it is. That's the problem. Just going to pick that up. And, oh, wow, that's pretty big. Okay, so we're going to have to move this for sure, but that's okay. It should work. And then we'll put this up. Oh, pick up the chest, bro. Now, what's the front? That doesn't look like... That's the front. Yeah. That's the front. Okay, requi requires raw food and honey. So, what's the benefit of this? Oh. Oh, it can automate. Oh, I see. I see. So, this should actually go over here. Did you see that? It can automatically um, put biofuel out. So what I should do is, I really don't want to pick these two up because it's, um, here, let's do this. Let's get rid of this. And we got to clear out some inventory space. All right. I don't know if there's any way to get biofuel out of here. I'm not going to worry about it. So we lost some biofuel. Big, big freaking deal. All right. So this goes right here. See, if that goes right there, um, the, that, the pipes aren't going to work unless I bring them out here. But then they're going to kind of be in the way. So I'm going to pick this up too. And this can come out. You know, I could probably have this come out like this. Yeah, that wouldn't be... That wouldn't be totally... Crap. 
Um, yeah, oh no, like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, that's pretty good. So what we could do now is we can move these into here. And I, do we even need do we even need the uh the fuel tanks anymore at this point? I don't know. Let's get some let's get some rough food. Um we don't have enough. So let's come over here. And let's grab this. I like to use the uh I like to use the watermelons for this. So let's go ahead and put some watermelons in here. Oh wow, I can hold a lot more too. Alright, so it holds 15 watermelons. And what is that? Six honey? And it has its own fuel source. Like, or it's not its own fuel source. It has its own, like, internal, you know, capacity. So do I even, should I even be using these anymore? Because if I do, they're going to, I mean, I guess I could put them over here if I wanted to. I could put them in the back. Might be a good idea. Oh, no, I can't. There's not enough room. I could put one in the back. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I think, um... Yeah, there's no room for them up here. I mean, I could put one right here, but then I'd have to run, like, pipes all over the place. No, that's got its own... It's got its own storage. No, I don't think we need the, the fuel tanks anymore. So, yeah. We'll just let that do its thing. Okay, cool. So, we've made the smelter. We've made the biofuel refiner. What else did we get from Temperance? I don't remember. Uh, biofuel refiner... Uh, what else did we get? We made the anchor, and there was one more thing that I don't know. I don't remember what it was. Alrighty, we got to keep up on these watermelons because they are the lifeblood of my biofuel. So we need to kind of pay attention to those as best we can. Um, I've got four right now. I I think I also want them for cooking. Yeah, yeah, I'm really hurt. I mean, I guess I could use mangoes. I don't think I'm gonna use mangoes for much. Oh, really quickly, too. Um, while I was on the island and I got that note, I remember how I said there was one particular recipe for juice for the juicer I want? That's the one. So I don't have to break my rule, <laughs> which is awesome. So we are going to be doing a lot of juicing as well. Uh, let's go ahead over here, grab all these. I went ahead and replaced all this stuff. We're going to grab this. Put that right there. This stuff goes in here. And we are pretty freaking organized. I kind of wish this smelter helped, helped five things. Um, I feel like three things is not enough, but that's all right. Not a, not a huge deal. Uh, this is what I got going over uh, over here with this uh, setup, and I kind of like it. And I might build some walls out here and make it a little... I don't know. Or I might just leave it alone. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I went ahead and cut the pipe so it doesn't get used because I had biofuel on me, like, and I couldn't do anything with it. You can't put it in this... You can't put the biofuel in this thing, at least as far as I can tell. So, um, because of that fact, uh, I wanted to use it, so I put down this thing right here, and I put some biofuel in it, and I will leave this pipe unhooked until all this biofuel is used, then I'll pick this thing up, and that way I will have used the biofuel, and, you know, no harm, no foul. Alright, we do have to make some more honey, so yeah, let's go ahead and make some more honey right now, let's we'll see why not. Um, that's in Animal Drops. I'm going to have to start paying attention to this thing again. Because I have not been. Alright, ammo drops. And then we're going to need glass. Which should be here. Not a lot of glass. And we need to make... Honey, which is right here. Okay, beautiful. And let's also set up some more glass while we're here. Well, once, that's the, once that thing is done. I could make another one. I guess if I made another one... But, yeah, that's... I don't know. I feel like one of those should be enough. I feel like it should make five things, not three. Or maybe make them faster. Maybe it does make them faster, and I just am not noticing. That could be the case. Alright, put that in there. Grab this. Fill that up. Alright. And I, if, if, like, what, if the way I'm looking at this is proper, this thing's holding a lot of biofuel. Like, a lot of biofuel, which is great. So, in other words, we'll be able to drive around wherever the hell we want, whatever the hell we want, and that will be awesome. We just have to keep an eye on this, uh, the honeycomb. The honeycomb's gonna be a problem, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and make some more glass. Alright, and that goes in here. Alright, is it almost nighttime? I want to, like, sleep through the night before I explore more of the island. I'm not sure exactly. It seems like it's noon. 
I think we're going to kind of hang out here until nighttime, and I want to explore the island in the morning. Uh, and I guess we got to keep these things going as well. All right, we're going to need some nails, and we're going to need some wood. And I don't have a lot of either, but it will be enough. And then we're going to come up here, and we're going to fill in the, the blocks above the anchor. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll fill in whatever I can, and when I can't... It's kind of weird that you can't place them down, but once you build the thing, then you can. It's just... Doesn't make much sense to me. Go and this one's a bit of a problem. Let's see if we can get this from underneath. There we go. Now we can't do these because they need to be supported. And I'm going to use these to support them. And we'll just put them both on the. Um... Oh, we can put one there. That's interesting. Uh, you know what? I kind of like that. I kind of like that because these are metal on this side. These are wood on this side. I like the wood. It kind of like. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I just like it. And there we go. And the anchor is now awesome. Yeah, look at that biofuel. That is so sweet. That is a great machine right there. No doubt. And now the band can play again. Um, somebody said that the, um, the, the piano is backwards. I don't see how this is backwards. I think if you were going to use the piano, this is the exact way you'd be set up. You know? So, I don't know. I think that works out just fine. Alright. Speaking of just fine, are we ready for some more glass? Um, nope, because the battery ran out. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. I'll kinda I'll play around that off camera. Yeah, that that was a weak that was a weak sauce battery. That's for damn sure. Alright, put that up there. Uh you know what? Why don't we do some juicing? Why don't we do some juicing? I kinda like that. So we only need two things for this. I, I can't believe how good that is. Three coconuts. Now, three coconuts can go pretty quick, but we can, we can grow coconut trees, so it's not really that big of a deal. Alright, cool. Coconuts and these. So it's three and one. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Three and three. One. One. We have to start growing some more coconut trees. That's for damn sure. The coconut will run out. I mean, it's not you know it's not perfect, but as long as we keep hitting islands and stuff, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's see where we got the where did I put the batteries? All right, they're in here. They should be in there. So, and one, two, three, four. Okay, so I have five. Great. So there you go. There you go. Be nice if we could run wires. Instead of having to put batteries and everything. You know? Like, you have one central area, and that's it. And then you could run wires to everything, so you don't have to, like, go run all the way around. But I guess they want you to stay busy. That makes sense. That, that does make sense. Alrighty. Let me show you what I got going on down here, up here, everywhere. As far as storage, everything goes. I am making... I did plant some more crops for more coconuts, because three coconuts per juice is a lot. Um, even though I prefer it, but it is a lot. Um, I went ahead and moved my battery storage up here. I made a lot more batteries, um, but they're kind of all over the place. I'm going to try and organize my batteries a little bit more um, before next video, but I do have a lot of this stuff taken care of. Um, this stuff's looking pretty good. Got some copper coming out of there. Uh, right there. So I did run low on copper, which is interesting. But yeah, I think we're looking pretty good here. These are my drinks, and I think I'm going to... Um, only use drinks when I'm on big islands. Although, I consider what I'm on right now a big island. You know what? I'm going to use the coconut beet stuff just because I'm curious on what it, what it's going to do. Um, I think if I make more coconut trees and I continue chopping down coconut trees and everything um, from islands, I should be in pretty good shape with that. And the, the idea is to be able to use the good drink all the time. I can use the good food all the time. That's not a problem because the good food is the, uh, is the vegetable soup and i can make that all the time no problem uh the juice i've still not figured out one that i, I want to use all the time there's in my opinion major problems with all of them uh the coconuts is the best one but even with the coconuts still going to take three three coconuts per juice that's a lot you know man i didn't think i could chop that down I'm just going to kind of look around over here see what's what on this island and uh yeah we've got a lot done today i'm definitely going to do at least a building video or two more before i do the um utopia Storyline, I might do quite a few building videos, honestly. Um, I am going to be... What's today? Today is Friday. 
This is going up either Saturday or Sunday. I don't know which one. I will be streaming this Sunday after uh, Sunday late afternoon, 6 p.m. Eastern. So that will be a lot of fun. This is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little island here. Okay, take it all. Well, except for this and this. And I know I could eat those right now, but I, I just don't care. I'm going to throw them out on principle. All right, there we go. What would we get there? Simple smoothie. Oh, the simple smoothie. Isn't that another one people said is really good? <gasps> well, you know, mangoes and pineapples are not nearly as easy to get as the beets in the in the uh, drinks I'm making now. But it does take one less coconut. So that's interesting. It's not bad. Not bad at all. And I can always grow more mangoes and stuff like that. It's not really a problem. All right, let's come on over here. Yep, more loot over there. Grab some more wires? Nope. Not that I have anything to do with them, but... There we go. Nothing... Oh, yep, scrap. Can't hide that scrap from me, bro. I don't think so. I love this island. This is a great island, man. Like, like how unbelievably easy is it to get to the... <laughs> to the, just look at how easy it is to get to the trader. I'm going to go ahead and stop my timer, by the way. Look at how easy it is to get to the trader. I mean, that's that's freaking unbelievably cool. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go back over here. I'm going to grab all the rest of the stuff that I need for the trader. I don't think I'm going to buy anything else from the trader. I think I'm going to save it for scrap and titanium. I think those are the only two things I really care about. Let's see what this drink does. Oh, that's a strong drink. Holy moly. That's really strong. Wow, very nice. So one of the, you know, you could drink that so little that you could probably go, you could probably use that for quite a while. Um, oh, this is the wrong side. This goes on this side. There we go. All right, so let's come over here and grab this and this. I don't think I'm going to buy anything else from the trader, but let's go, like I said, let's go check them out just to make sure. I mean, scrap, scrap metal and titanium are really the only two things I care about. Uh, so, and I know I've been buying other stuff. I should probably stop doing that, honestly, because I need to just save up for the stuff that matters. And then what I could do is I could bring up my receiver and just go from Green Island to Green Island buying this stuff up. The titanium is really important because I want a lot of batteries. Um, I'm going to actually take some time and think about how many batteries I want, uh, between this and next video. And I also, um, want to, I kind of want to start with the nets. I want to start making those really good nets. So... We are going to need all the titanium we can get. And we've bought all the titanium here. I don't think I care about any of this other stuff. Um, already bought all the stuff here I care about. Don't need cave mushrooms. Yeah, I really don't need any more of this. Uh, I need to spice some chili. Eh, yeah, I think we're good. All right, guys. I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then... Take it easy.